We here at Clubhouse Unlocked appreciate all our loyal subscribers, but we can always use more. From now on until we hit 5k subs, 5 new subscribers win a cash prize from us. Each winner will be picked at random. All you have to do is subscribe to our channel. Thank you all for watching Clubhouse Unlocked. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Now let's get into the content. Hey, Wack, bring Mitch here. You are now watching the, the, the conversation Mitch. that we had. You act bring like Mitch she was all like that. You, I, I sent him a gang of invites already. I've been he's he been in here the whole time. I got it. I got it. I sent him an invite. Yeah, he's been he in here listening. Don't want to come up. Yeah, he don't. Bracket in the gangster Aaron. Slick to tell you that gangster Aaron started. You got to give gangster. Hey, bro. Hey, bro. Listen, see, that's what you keep doing. I want you to hear me, bro. See, look, look, listen, bro. You got this why I'm like with niggas. Look, bro. Nah, you don't fuck up, bro. I'm going to say it real slow. You done fucked up clowning with your I'm going to say it real slow. When it comes to this shit over the last decade, two decades, 20, 25 years, when a nigga say they go, Crip, Blood, Mexican, New York, Minnesota, Florida, Alabama, I don't give a fuck. First thing we going to think is Mitchie Slick. Now, ain't nobody taking away Gangsta Earn, but Gangsta Earn at today. It would have been the last couple decades when it comes to this you music are watching and with the, like with the street. San Diego. Blood's like Ice-T era. Blood's the NWA era. Blood's, Blood's, Blood's the first era. Blood's Blood, you know the... what? I'm done talking about it, Blood, because I see y'all ready with you. Mitchie on stage, Wack. I have a mind of them up. Mitchie on stage. I don't know what's wrong hey, with Can you, I recap? Bro. or, or it's, Ain't nothing to heard, recap, so, dog. Hey, just what's go off what you want to go off on Slick. What's happening with it? Yo, Wack is disrespectful. All these niggas is. I'm dealing with a bunch of sharks. Wack disrespectful? I'm a... I'm, Mitch, I'm this nigga gonna bro. tell me. I'm an orca. Yo, you hold on, hey, bro, bro, bro. Hey, I'm an orca, bro. Hey, first of all, let's correct this one thing. He gonna tell me that in interviews, the only name that I have ever mentioned when it come to Dago, I never said that. Takes turn. I never said that. Now you adding words. Homies, no. I will rep Your a homie bono name. Sucks. Your pro bono sucks, bro. Hey, bro. The nigga gonna say. Because I mentioned Gangsta Earn name, I owe him. I owe you, blood. What you mean, nigga? I'm just giving a homie a salute. Now watching Clubhouse. I do it to all kind of niggas I know. Sure. And Diddy don't want to respect the fact I said blood respectfully in the last two decades when it come to this music shit, this industry shit. When niggas say Dago, Crip, Blood, Mexican, I don't give a fuck. We think Mitchy Slick. Blood, the one in our face, been around. Doing shit with every fucking body. We ain't taking away from who your daddy is, but when it comes to that, you can't take away from the work blood didn't put in. Like, what kind of nigga is you? We know gangster earn from some other shit, but you cannot say. It's only Gatorade's in the pantry, I think. Get the Gatorade out of the pantry, nigga. You cannot say that, homie. You are now watching Clubhouse. Well, if you ask Mitchie, if you ask Mitchie who gangster earn is, he gonna tell you. If you ask Mitchie when it come to Dago, who been putting down the groundwork for the last 15, 20, 25 years when it come to this music shit, this industry shit, and representing a, a gangster from Dago, Mitchie's not going to exclude himself, my nigga. Okay. Mm -hmm. can't. can't. That's just facts. But this dude is mad because I told him, look, dog, don't be telling niggas on no interview. Blood, cause I owe you something. I don't owe you shit, nigga. You called me. I didn't even know who you was. Yo, whack. This gangster earned son. Oh shit. Okay. What's up, homie? Bro, good looking out. Every time you mention my pops, my followers and shit go up. Okay, cool. Is there something more we could do? What you got in mind? Man, you know some t-shirts and whoop. Well, you know if you want me to promote that, I do that. But you know your dad got a story. You know, won't y'all think about? A series, 50 Cent got it wide open, some shit like that. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, okay, okay. Well, whoever his wife is, she gonna have to be the one on board, you know? I gotta go meet with Nick tomorrow. I asked Nick about it. Matter of fact, I mentioned it on camera. I could have talked to Nick about that shit in the parking lot. I'm looking out for you again. This nigga is saying, I'm mentioning gangster her name for protection. Come on, blood. All right, I got you. I won't never mention his name again. I'm bold. Oh, blood. Top of the morning to all my homies, blood. Good, good. <laughs> what, what up, Slick? Bro? What it do, Slick? What up, <laughs> Slick? What up, bro? Slick, Slick, how many times you done looked up, ain't talked to Wack in months, 
and a nigga send you a clip of Wack saluting uh, Slick. That's what Wack do. Multiple, multiple, multiple times and shit. I, I, I mean, niggas know yeah, that. he just look up. I don't call him, hey, that's what I do if something come up that's relevant or pertaining to boo, that nigga, that's, yeah, that's, nah, the nigga that really be your wife when it come to the underground, nah, nigga, I'ma tell you, I work with niggas, but that nigga Mitchy Slick, I don't think he want to come up from under that motherfucker. I think his whole mission is to help everybody down there. They, hey, and they, but see, niggas don't understand that though. And that being my whole mission, but if you look in the eyes of Dago, niggas, they won't tell you that. You still hear niggas talking about why he didn't do this and why he didn't do this. Bullshit. Bullshit. And that's what they, that's what he showed us right now too, Slick. Bullshit. That's what he just got, just got, this guy down here just like. Bullshit. Yeah, I just seen, yeah. I, I know your work. I yeah. know the cause. I just seen the, yo, whack, fuck me. I'm trying to do this for them. Yo, whack, woo to woo to woo. You think you woo to woo to woo to woo to woo. Like, nah, nigga can't tell me none of that type of shit. I well, know. on behalf of Dago, on behalf of Dago, everybody listening, y'all got to understand. Well, y'all don't got to understand shit. But what y'all don't really understand is that Dago, y'all, we ain't, we don't really understand the business and the industry shit that much, y'all. So you'll catch a nigga acting a certain way or being a certain way coming from San gotcha. Diego. That's because they kind of out the loop of what's going on really with the industry shit. And we got our own idea of what goes on in Dago. I just happen to be a homie that left Dago and went out of Dago a lot. So I kind of understand how people outside of Dago look at certain shit. And I'm still in a bucket. M Slick, do your thing. I'm in a bucket, Slick. And, and I'm in a bucket of Dago still. So my energy and the way I'm talking and the way I respond to this Hollywood shit might be unbalanced because I don't like oh, what they laughing at. Earn, Earn got a picture with Nick Cannon and Wack 100 on his page. What you got the picture for, Earn? And then Wack hop in. I ain't take a picture with that nigga. Nah, you got disrespectful as fuck, Earn. No, you that's, gotta, that's you, how nah, we, nah, nah you got disrespectful back, as fuck. Oh, hold on. Nah, I simply nah. told him. I said, bro, I don't know don't where be. the picture came from. I've never taken a picture with him. It's the truth, bro. And I said, I said, because of the algorithm I got, I put it up here because I know they just it, asked me. I told the truth, bro. I said I know. I know that this is going on. I'm finna be. I'm finna, I'm bragging. Why not put me with a picture with the this algorithm? Don't together? work that way. Why not? Why not? Why not merge us together? You feel me? Like really? What, what, I, I don't give a fuck doing, what you did. Work, really? I'm hey, you got mad at me because I told I'm doing the digital truth. Graphic, instead of sitting back waiting for opportunity, I'm doing digital graphics. Put look, look, my own page. Er, I'm not one of these type of niggas. I see niggas do this shit. Nigga run into a nigga and be like, hey, what up, my nigga? Woo, 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 woo. I, and act like they know each other 10 years. I'm going to be like, bro, do I know you? But we hit TV, though, Wack. We hit the Nick Cannon show. I know, we hit I, no, we ain't this that's, shit. That's I've never met you. In the black culture, I've we never met TV. you, bro. Bro, you gotta leave this shit alone, Earn. So, so all I'm saying is, if, like, if you never met me, what I'm saying is, don't bro. continue my turn. My turn, Jesse. Don't continue Blood. to. Why don't, are you still going at it with this shit? Blood. Don't continue Blood. to push the gangster Earn shit if you never met me, then, bro. That's all I'm inside. I've, I'm I've never talked about you. I talked about your Slick, dad. You, you can't do that, though, bro. Slick, you uh, hear me? God, I hear you, blood. But I told I'm, him you can't do that, Slick. So check it out, homie. At the end of the day, <laughs> I learned long ago when I got in this shit, homie. I ain't gonna lie to you. I, I heard, I learned this from Exhibit, my nigga. With all this shit, homie, even though we don't know, it's proper channels for everything. It's a pop. It's a proper way to do everything, and it ain't really no inventing the wheel. I mean, of course, the digital era that came out is new shit every week or something. But for the most part, it's proper channels. And if it, if you ain't never seen a nigga do nothing a particular way, it, you, 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 you kind of just gotta watch. fall in line, homie, and do shit the way it's supposed to be done, no matter what it is. So I'm not saying nobody. This ain't even speaking on behalf of Wack or Earn. I'm just saying from a San Diego perspective y'all i hear a lot of shit online about san diego motherfuckers be saying we we never heard all this shit all this, san diego's not this and all that i we never heard we never shit. heard all that shit we never heard all that shit online now we never oh, heard none of that shit and slick, diego got slick. slick. every and time a nigga asks ask me about they go slick what i tell him slick big homie slick big homie look look on my mama look 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 big homie i told him too i said blood i'm not up here for the gangster earth shit, blood. I'm up here, blood, for the Dago shit. You know what exactly. I'm saying? Like, 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 blood, you know what I'm saying? I mean, yeah, gangster earth is my big homie, blood. You feel me for sure? He wasn't disrespecting Dago. I'm gonna understand. Now, blood, when I hopped up in her beast, y'all was talking wet, blood. Here. We ain't even gonna talk about that. Man, man, when I hopped up in here. We didn't have to look, be here. That nigga, yo, listen. He said he was going to call his lawyer. He said, he he gonna gonna call lawyer. He said that, though. Well, he said that. I can't lie. That's, that's the said. second person from San Diego oh, said that. KO Hustle said it. And now we got Aaron Billion said it. Let me tell you something. 
Hey, Earl, no, Earl. Oh, baby, Earl. Hold on, Mac. Hold on, Mac. Let me tell you something, Earl. Maybe you ain't lived long enough. I'm going to give you some real shit. I have came into San Diego and been received by my niggas right with open arms and protective hands as if they didn't came up in my backyard and received the same. So I don't know who telling you what. Like either side ain't what it is, but you should correct saying that, bro. And, and Wax, listen, wasn't homie, you bellied with uh, San Diego? Wasn't you bellied with the homies from San Diego? You know I was, man. Crushed two years. So, 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 but listen, y'all. Like I, like I said, this is just a mere. You are now watching San Diego. See, this is what's wrong with Doug on why we haven't been able to be successful in the industry shit because we don't really understand the industry business and the way that shit goes so what y'all here baby earn doing right now that's just that's just niggas being in the streets and not really we ain't we ain't gotcha. been blessed we ain't been blessed with the opportunity to make multi-millionaires and shit in the streets of san diego off of rap shit so that when we get in these arenas we're gonna we're gonna have a different perspective i say we because i'm never gonna take myself away from being a san diego nigga but i do understand how this shit works because i done been with all the you know everywhere not just la homies but in the bay east coast down south i've been with groups and homies from all over the country but y'all this, this is gonna go on forever in a circle and circle all it is y'all so niggas just understand san diego niggas don't really understand the business of being this shit. so that when a homie say a homie name or say this like say for instance in dago you might use a nigga's nigga name a verse or, or or something he said in a scratch on a record or something like that and the homies don't understand okay yeah there's such thing as sample clearances and all this shit but when it comes to that type of shit that's type of shit that kind of just go you know what i'm saying nigga scratch a nigga's word or say something in the song that they they gonna let that go now if a nigga take a nigga whole verse or a whole song, beat or music then you might have to go check a nigga about that and you know get that shit clear niggas don't have to pay for that shit but simple shout outs and songs and shit like that you know, San Diego nigga going to code it on some gangster shit instead of being on some industry business type shit. We can go around and just this shit for a circle forever, but that's just what it is, y'all. You know what I'm saying? Bro, I don't, but what he got to understand, what he got to understand, right, is that when a homie, right, pays homage, straight up, that ain't no nigga looking for no protection or looking to be. You like, I'm just paying called me a bitch, bro. So what? What I'm saying? Okay, so my thing is, look, bro, come on, bro. When you when you share the gangster earn, when, when you go to no jumper, say, hey, y'all, I did a gangster earn with you, now, right? Am I hey, not supposed? Hey, listen, hey, do, hey, do, hey, do I not his son? Hey, Aaron, do, Aaron, Aaron, let me say something real quick to you. Bro. I'm, I know look, you I'm eager to move to Rancho Santa Fe. I want a house in Rancho Santa Fe. Can you hear me, blood? Where do you think the proceeds of gangster earn money gonna go to? Or 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 his royalties? That ain't my business, bro. Who gonna speak for my daddy? You? That ain't my business. What the fuck are you talking about, bro? Man, I'm gonna be the nigga speaking for when she get popped. Yo, this dude's a weirdo, man. Anyway, just for the check this out, y'all. Let me tell you, so it ain't coming from his his son or from nobody that might be partial. Just to break all this, like I said, this shit is going forever. But Gangsta Earn, y'all was a was a Gangsta Earn was the type of nigga, y'all, that was like really the nigga was like like a like a rap nigga but without the, no rap involved <laughs> you know what i'm saying like 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 i just seen gangsta earn come through my turf homie bang the set get the set up to us while in bouncing down the street rag top flaming flaming rag top tray homie no shirt on perm rollers in the hair all that shit get a gang up nigga bend the block come back like about 30 yeah. minutes later slope nose porch the same color with that move in the, in the rolling shotgun nigga Full-fledged gang member, though. Now, gangsta, what's up, blood? Balling. You feel me, though? Balling, hey, full-fledged gang you member. This motherfucking they they tripping on the young homie, yeah, blood. Hey, bro, at the end of the day, bro, if a homie, if I look up and a homie is giving salute to one of my G homies, right, and I'm hearing what you saying when you say whack, don't nobody ever want to mention my pops. Yeah, now watching and you hear me watch. say, nah, there's some real gangsters come up out of Dago. One gangster herb, right? Yeah. Right? Bro, that ain't no nigga saying using your daddy name to get no protection, bro. You keep saying that protection. That hit you hard. Because I you said, said that after you called me a bitch. After you called me a bitch, that's what I said that. Because see, he go to fact of the matter. I'm your life. Like, okay, bro, bro, you got beef with Jay-Z. He go to fact of the matter. Yo, daddy. You, you keep bringing you up other shit. Hold on, bro. You said fuck this deal. Bro, but when let me give you some real facts. Gangsta Earner saved you from all that. Let me give you some real facts. Your daddy 
and my brother, who is Big Wack, my big homie, they all got one thing in common. Another hey, nigga. Hey, don't mute me, blood. Up. Hey, you bringing an army together. Another to nigga smoke You put an army together, blizzard. blood, when you yelling out. I put an when army you yelling, together. When you yelling what out you against the army, you feel me? You got some. Blood, I ain't but you, you think I said his name. Me, talking about. Come help you me. What is you talking about, bro? What the fuck is you? Is you really? That's after that you called that? me a bitch. I started looking at all your little, all your little shit you got popping in your life, like blood. All this controversy shit going on. And the hate. That's the hate and the motherfucking bitchness. Hey dog. Hey dog. I don't got no controversy Who's going on. on. I got niggas that scream my name because they need to look at their name. Whack is the. Top clickbait, brother. You want to like it or not? Oh, my bless. name, if it's in a title, in a nigga <laughs> sub, whatever, a song, they're gonna look and they're gonna listen. That ain't no controversy. That's the nigga marketing, nigga. What are you talking about? Niggas better pay attention. Oh, they keep muting. That's right. Nigga talk about some controversy. I give every I nigga the address. That's hey, I give me, every bitch. nigga I, the I, address. I'm like, whack you. You are not watching Clubhouse. You woke up the most gangsterous nigga from California. Got to that point today, bro. I try to tell you in front of everybody, blood. Back up. I even sent you a straight message, bro. Let that shit go. You the reason this shit going on right now. Hey, whack just brought me up. Whack just brought me up. Y'all don't mute me. Whack brought me up. Don't mute me. Your homeboys are sitting here lifting from the day go right now. You the reason that they gotta come in here right no, now. No, no, no. Wack, Wack got ago, cheerleaders and I got soldiers. Go. Wack got That's cheerleaders and I got soldiers. So y'all gotta be quiet. My niggas is quiet. My niggas, my niggas. Blood, blood was on the yard blood with him. Was on, my, they, they oh, that's call. the G homie from Villain, blood. Yeah, I understand, nigga. That's move gangster, nigga. Iron, you need to pick. You need a big and so. That's the G homie from Villain, blood. 55 years old. Fuck this shit, Sal. We need the biggest Sal. Fuck this shit, bro. When you first got on this motherfucking app, Blood, niggas up, is really dick and niggas making themselves look way less bigger. Blood, they mad. They mad. I'm, I'm in the picture with Nick Cannon and the Wack 100, Sal. And then Wack mad about Yo, this dude a weirdo. He a weirdo now. I ain't even seen the picture. Hey, Wack mad about an interview. Hey, Wack. Hey, Wack. The interview he mad about, Sal, on 59 Brims. He liked it, and he shared it to a story. Hey, he wanted the real one. Hey, check it out. Hey, dog, I'm telling you, bro. See, for you to say, hey, what? Hey, said, hey, bro, oh, he, this was crazy. Oh, for you to say, hey, hey what? Hey, hey, no, none of these niggas hey, get my daddy's name, name no credit. You photoshopped the man in the picture, Dauphine. Hey, you check it out, y'all. It's the real one on the phone right now, homie. One of the young homies that was riding with with the homeboy, Gangsta Earn. He online right now. What's up to my... Hey, Damu, what's up, blood? Say what's up to the homies, blood. You are having blood. Hey, that's the nigga that was right there with Gangsta Earn, been in all them corners doing all the gangsta shit with him right there. Whoa. Yo, yo, Damu, let me ask you a question, right? <clears throat> me and Crunch, Big Sav, we was sellies for two and a half years on the three yard, on right? Yeah, blood so, told me about you. If somebody mentioned, yo, whack when it come to street shit, gangsters, whoop, 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 you know, LA has always been the whatever, 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 and I say, no, it's some Bay Area niggas. I said, we got niggas out of Dago, some real gangsters, some real no niggas like Gangsta Earn, who whoop to whoop no for whoop to whoop to whoop. Dog, you take that like, I'm trying to get some clout off the homie name, or I'm just giving a homie salute. Nah, you giving a homie props. Okay, that's not the question. The question is, they said Baby Earn got a picture with Nick Cannon down move. Oh, and oh, my, this guy is going that's where somewhere it else. Here. Be quiet, y'all. And then, Wax said in the interview you, you did, you said that I owe you. I never you said that you owe me nothing in none of the You said because I, I mentioned your daddy that. name. I said I appreciate that, you. No, I you said, like I okay, you mentioned in my pop's name. So why, why so did you we going to do with this? What you mean, bro? What the fuck? Huh? You, you said just said he was going to call a yeah, lawyer on Wax so you can get paid. You that just came, said that today after me and Wax he said today he owes you. You said it today. For using his you gonna take me to court for what? He's yelling his likeliness out, blood. I will take you to court if if, if, if I wow. can put a hey, bro. That ain't no, what like what this, nigga. Represent. What I'm saying, like the NCAA. So you saying, so you saying that you you can say my daddy name with Nick Cannon, 
but I can't do an interview and mention your name and my daddy's name in the interview. I'm his son. It's coming. Everything is coming to me. Bro, so you want to tie your dad, bro. Me and you be talking. So you said when niggas is just saluting your pops, bro, like you want to call the, the legal? No, you just called me a bitch, bro. Hello? You just you keep go talking about legal, nigga. What do you mean? So you said know. that. You said if you, hey, they do they do run backs, and when y'all hear the run back blood, blood. Oh, you bitch, gonna first. be viral today? You're viral. We You're already all viral. Remember, we don't yeah, need we, a run back. We been sitting here this we whole don't time. Need no run back. Yeah. No, no, we ain't mad about it. it. We, we ain't mad because on the constructing business level, like I said, it should have been like this. Oh uh, shit, y'all! When they brought me over here and they say, "All right, you in the picture?" I never brought camera. you over here. You brought yourself over here. You called me this morning and I had a missed call and you texted me and said, Blood, come to the hunting side. Yeah, because you said some gay shit in the chat. What I say in the chat, Blood? You said they're mad because Wack likes me. Blood, they muted that me, ain't Blood. Gay, the homie. And, and Eddie Mac, Eddie Mac is at my house right now. Eddie Mac walked in and heard it. Eddie, you are Eddie Mac said, You want blood. me to show it to you? I got hey, it, bro. Hey, hey, Slick. Eddie hey, Mac blood, said, Blood. Hey. Hey, Eddie Mac. Hey, blood. Look, this ain't even no blood. That, this is a wasted conversation. This is what Eddie Mac said. Eddie Mac blood, said, "Blood, listen. they just hey. mad. You've been fucking with Wack for three months, and, 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 and they jealous." Well, so I, I don't said, care about that, blood. That, 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 that ain't nobody. Yo, this shit is weird. Mitch is weird. I just heard Wack say he don't know you, blood. So why are you even stressing that, blood? Yeah, bro. Yo, I don't. I think I'm telling. Yo, listen. He called me out the blue, right? I yeah. say, what's up, boy? He said, this gangster earned son. Out of respect. What's up, homie? What can I do for you? Bro, he First said, time. you said, bro, you mentioned me in my pop's name. My father yeah. was going up. I appreciate yeah. it. I said, okay. Yeah. He yeah. said, bro, I want to know if I can do some shirts or whatever, whatever. No, I, I said, said I you? said, let me get you a gangster earned shirt and point to it. When you talking about Hold it. On. When you said you want to sell some shirts with your you pops, I said, that's oh, what man. you want me to do, cool, but... Really, bro, you should be thinking on a bigger thing. TV mm -hmm. series, something like that, probably be because 50 Cent got it going. Gangster Earn story is just as gangster, probably more gangster than this shit they doing right now, right? You yeah. said, you know what? That sounds like a winner. I said, okay, I got to meet with Nick tomorrow. I'm going to bring it up to him. I could have talked to him off camera. I I'm told, because you told me how much the mentions is helping you. Nigga, so I mentioned it on camera. I didn't right? get it. Right? Did I not? That was big. Right? So then when you called me back, I told you, bro, at the end of the day, it's gonna come down to his wife. I know he was married. She gonna call the shot. So have that go, that you go. You called me back alert. with Reese on the phone. Right? Reese, my nigga. Everybody oh, he, he know every story. Everybody know if you from Dago, you wanna get the whack. Mitchy Slick and Reese, get you right to him. <laughs> call me back with fucking Reese on the phone, right? I call Reese back. I say, Reese, it come down to Earn's wife, right? You call me right one day. What's up, homie? Yo, whack, what up? Anything on the business? I said, it can't be no business without his wife, bro. You said, hold on, mama, mama, mama. You put your mama on the phone. I didn't ask you. Like I'm 35. Your mama like tripped. Your mama tripped because she had just lost her brother, a brother-in-law or something, and told you she don't want to talk no business, but fuck it, nigga, you done did this. Whack, what's up? I said, how you doing? She said, what would be the scope of it? I said, well, I don't know all the intricate things you know, only you know. We just know what we know. And she said, well, when it comes to earn, I don't want to show none of the street shit. I said, well, you will be taken away from me, but you know, you call the dogs at the end of the day is what it is, right? You then got mad and said we can get my mama out the way. When you tell a nigga, uh, I like, told you that she hold on, it's in my PTR, right? When a nigga you tell, tell me, she don't want to do it. Well, I'm when, okay. When a nigga tell me no, they no, want to no, get their mama turn, out the turn, way, turn, that tells me I can't trust that my nigga. Turn, but look, I'm an adult, first of all, right, Sal? So like, it's right there, my PTR. Them your words. He is like three, seven, or eight. Blood, look. Read it that don't PTR. Matter, dog. Five, blood, look. I, I opted I'm to get away mama, from it because listen, if you doing married, your mama blood, like that, I can, I can only imagine how you would do me. Be real. My mom remarried, there y'all. I can keep bragging. That ain't my business. Hey, stop muting me, blood. Now watching Clubhouse online. That ain't my business. 
But I think you was out of line blood for even insinuating that blood shit. Blood here. Blood. You just need to let that shit I'm go. an adult, South. Like, what do you mean? Like, like, so if my mama like her life where she at, I can't continue my life where I'm finna go to? That means, hey, you want to call the lawyer on your mama <laughs> and have her out the picture? Hello? Hey, gang turn was thick. Let's go there. Dog, look at my PTR. Hey, it's right Lee, there. If Let's my mama there. wanna stay in Southeast, blood, I can't I can't bob out. Look. I don't wanna talk about none of that shit online, but I wanna <laughs> talk about how big Gangster Earn was. That's there you go. Yeah, that's yeah. let's do that. I wanna know why that's, that's, I wanna know yeah. that's it. Damu yeah. though, but if you wanna know, don't even ask me. Nigga, Damu is where it's right there with him though. Right. Every day. You and and, nigga, and I man, we couldn't believe that nigga started rapping, homie. We was rapping. Gangster Earn rapping. But you know what I'm saying? This is a street nigga, homie, that don't want none of this shit talked about online, bro. But if you want to know about his story, the homie Moo was right there, blood. That's it. Other than that, don't none of this shit need to be online talked about, blood. It, it, it matter of fact, it's been on for too long. Oh, for okay. hours. He been doing this shit for hours, Slick. For hours. <laughs> yeah. Shit. Fuck that shit. Not fuck Gangsta Earn, cause Gangsta Earn, nigga, that's the legend. That nigga, hey. that's who, why, why I wanted to start busting. I wanted to start rapping cause of Gangsta Earn. You know what I'm saying? You know what, Slick? Fuck that. I ain't mentioning your name either. That's it. <laughs> yeah, that, that's it. Hey, yo, baby, <laughs> Earn, let me tell you something. From the penitentiary to the act. streets. We gotta talk better. Hey, from the penitentiary to the streets. I didn't always been one way towards that 619 car. Oh. Niggas on the yard street, they tell you, nigga, whack when it come to the homies. Fucks with the homies. Straight up. This a fact, nigga. And look, I, I do My shit, I do shit that I'm you. supposed to do that, that they don't ask me to do. It's just the right thing to do because I feel like if they was in my position, okay. They would so, dis so, so disregard to my interview. That's just real shit. Hey, none you can't convince none of them niggas down there. They gonna be like, who nigga you out your mind? This nigga that jumped off the cliff a hundred times by us. Straight up. And, then, I, and then, goddamn that cuss Mitchie out talking about your whack game going on tour. What it cost to buy on? I hung the phone up on blood. <laughs> he said, all right, whack. How many days I can do? I said, I'm here motherfucking many you want to do. Watching Clubhouse right, right, right. Your money ain't good with me. Fuck is you talking about? Say that. Say that. I'm mad. Hear yeah, that. <laughs> See? <laughs> hey, that's real shit. Mm -hmm. Mitchy talking about whack. I got to send the paperwork up to get signed off and what it's going to take. Blood, we don't want nothing. Keep it all. You the homie. Say that. The label. Fuck the label. Let me deal with them. Yeah, that blood only been one way. Mitchie, you come up to Pacoima, iron out my flag. That go your trailer, all your liquor. What I tell the homies, don't let numb nigga talk to them they don't want to talk to. Hey, I don't think it was no nigga from no other place but LA County. It was even on the song. <laughs> it wasn't. You the only one from uh, a Dago. A Dago nigga. But it's called Iron Out My Flag. Straight up. Like, my nigga, nigga can't do a song like that. We got these heads and you ain't in it that's why i keep telling you ain't nobody taking nothing from her nigga but you cannot take away that the groundwork mitchy didn't put in nigga across the blood I ain't, I ain't gonna lie he made me a believer blood is on tour with us in his own vehicles we land in philly blood got a squad we land in jersey he got a squad sister everywhere we went mitchy had a squad from that location independent of my squad no budget though. So I already knew what it was, but after that, I'm like, oh no, the homie didn't really did this groundwork. So you know, end of the day, you should be happy about that. It, you should be real happy about that. Matter of fact, Mitchie, shit. Nigga, while you bullshit, it might be time to do your fucking documentary. I know the last documentary spooked you, you but that wasn't your documentary. That's what they did. Mm -hmm. <laughs> that wanted to put your ass on hold. Damn, bitch. They banned Mitchie from everything. Man. That nigga Mitchie came out on gangland. They banned that nigga from everything. Man. <laughs>
But it was before that, that, though, homie. It was before that, though. <laughs> you know, we've been on that gang injunction shit the whole while, homie. Yeah, hey, like, so they, they brought the gang injunction. They see for those that's on here that ain't from California, I know y'all heard about the gang injunction, but we had we got some. It's a gang law, a gang ordinance oh, that says it's against the law to be from a gang, and they put all these bullshit stipulations on it. They made it up and they passed it. They was trying to get it to go for a long time in California. They got it to go. They put it on the 18th Street niggas. I mean, the 18th Street, the Mexicans in LA. And they went directly from them to me being the first nigga in California on that motherfucker. So that's how Dago gonna do niggas about what whatever. Gonna get a whatever new laws come up, they gonna implement yeah, the motherfuckers from Dago. So, yeah, you they talk about the gang about injunction, huh, Mitchie? Yeah, that's yeah. A fact. yeah, you already know. You know exactly what it is. That's exactly a fact. That's yep. the reason why I used to say when they always ask me how I feel about niggas gang banging the other states. I said I think it's stupid. Nah, I got respect for it, but yeah. they don't know what type of shit they gonna be able to do to niggas once niggas actually finally say, okay, we're bloods and we're crips. Oh, they got a whole new set of laws to slap on niggas just for that alone. Niggas would have been better off not even doing that and just keeping it whatever they had it be. You feel me? Yeah. Hell yeah. You you speaking facts, man? Shit. Yeah, man. But shit, you know, it is. It's it's, it's, it's no no no. Don't I hear this Dago shit all the time, homie? But niggas can't get Dago fucked up. We just don't fall into when it comes to the you are now industry, watching industry shit. Tomorrow. We don't have the knowledge of the shit, so you're gonna get niggas saying shit, not understanding. Like nigga, when you a superstar, nigga, I ain't no superstar. But when you are, motherfuckers is watching everything that come out your mouth. So you can't just say I didn't say something or I didn't do that. Everything is being watched. Everything is being recorded, and that's the thing that San Diego niggas ain't fr- really got all the way. And that's the thing that a lot of niggas have learned. That's the reason why niggas being able to capitalize off a lot of shit right now. Man, fuck this shit, man. Salute to the homie gangster earn. The nigga was a real certified G by anybody's measures. And that's all I, I need. It, it, shit, if niggas want to make a movie, nigga, we can make a movie anyway in Dago, homie. I mean, whack reached out, but shit. Earn, nigga, make your own movie about it. Nigga, it's going to go because this is an incredible story, homie. Yo, and, and that was all Wack was doing was sending a shout out to an older homie. Mm-hmm. It is what it is, though. You are now watching Clubhouse. What it is. And shout out to you, your damn self, Mitchie, on some real shit, bro. You ain't, you ain't, you ain't, you have been putting in a whole lot of motherfucking work over these years, bro. For real. Much love, homie. Who that, Blast? <laughs> Who yeah, that blast? Class, yes, sir. Yeah, y'all gotta go check out that uh won't stop being a blood part two with the east side homies, right, Blast? Hey, yes, sir. No, with the <laughs> with the LA homies. Oh, that the LA was, homies. Hey, like like you just said, it's clear to clarify some shit. You know, when you dropped that first one, I felt the way because wasn't no LA niggas on there. You right. had all Inglewood. You had all right. Inglewood and one LA nigga, and then you went all over the world. That's and right. I got at you as a homie. I came to your spot in Dago from LA, sat down and talked to you about it, as well as some other shit. Mm-hmm. We were doing business. Right. And you you stamped it. And then you I'm know what it was? It being right from out. Dago. Listen, being from Dago, y'all, it's right. like we 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 don't we don't, we we really don't I mean we got our issues going on, but it's not no power rule and blood thing. It never was no power rule and blood thing. Nah, it was just nah. it was just that hood against that hood, that and they might have just so happened to be power rules and blood, but there it wasn't go. because of the P and the B. So when we come to LA, I'm looking at any homies in LA as all one thing. You feel me? To us in the eyes of San Diego niggas, I'm not splitting it up at Bompton homies or Inglewood homies or right. you know these that, homies. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? But then as soon as they ran it back, nigga, I was open arms. Like, nigga, let's run it. It ain't no Bontis. It ain't no this. Shit, Swan, whoever, nigga, let's, it ain't no Brims, L.A. Brims. Come on, blood, let's run it, blood, let's get it going. And then we did that. And that motherfucker did number two. You Clubhouse Unlocked. Nah, that, that's real shit. Mm-hmm. That's real shit. But I get, Mitch, y'all definitely listen, bro. I'm letting y'all niggas know. Uh, we got these motherfucking um, subscription-based platforms. These motherfucking series is working, boy. Hey, we got them. I know. I think the homie was. I think JT was kind of, kind of maybe telling me about some shit like that. You know that nigga be up on everything. You know, the- no, bro, we got them. We got nigga that I got Ray J shit launching next month, and we own that one. And then we got um, we got um, Urban Flicks that's 
that motherfucker doing numbers like I'm, man, I'm gonna text you the numbers that shit doing nigga you gonna get mad about that shit we've been trying to do now I'm gonna try to get in shit. we talk about but I'm saying like bro it ain't nothing but put doing what we already do in longer form right do you already know how to film nigga you already know how to write right is nigga you are now eight watching part series boom on. that's it nigga put mm. that shit up and instant money is crazy mm. I swear to God, bro, niggas is shooting shit with iPhones and shit. Oh, God. I heard about that. I heard about the Detroit niggas going crazy. Man. The Detroit niggas running around there like the crack game back out again. Bro, this is what I'm trying to tell you. Bro. Them niggas out there eating, nigga, balling, niggas, big, big cars, all this shit, all off movies. I'm trying to, bro, and I got I got to play. Yeah. No, right there, this shit is crazy. Chat, don't even, this shit is nuts. I'm like, nigga, this, when I tell you, bro, the whole process it takes us to record and video move and videos and get the deal and waiting for it to come out and seeing these numbers nigga you going worldwide right put it like this watch this 10,000 is some bullshit right that's some bullshit for whatever whatever at 10,000 right 10,000 you done made $80,000 you gonna do that in 5 lot. minutes hmm yeah, because it's subscription bait. Now watch this. A, a, a bullshit number is a hundred thousand. A hundred thousand subscribers, niggas is looking at you like you ain't doing nothing. That's like our independent game, right? Yeah. That is eight hundred thousand dollars, right? Mm -hmm. So let's just say you had a fifty percent cut. That's four hundred your way. But mm -hmm. watch this, Mitchie. Let's say yo, just say you got ten episodes. Mm -hmm. That's two and a half months your shit is running. That's every month. Mm. At the mm. end of the month, you know it hits your phone, nigga. Uh, a half of us is automatic building. Fucking mm. Spotify, whatever. They just charge you seven, eight dollars, mm. and it's all you over. You're now again. watching Clubhouse mm. Unlocked. Hey, homie, I'm gonna try to make a schedule a Zoom meeting with you or something, homie. Ain't no big dog. Twenty four seven with you. That's bro. right. My that's number that's right, dude. Yeah, yeah. Nah, cause I'm, I'm, I'm Cause gonna Ain't nobody here go to thing, Mitchy. And I hate to say it, what been working against y'all mm -hmm. is not for the work for you. You know why? Mm -hmm. Don't nobody know nothing about down there. So when That's they right. see it, they curious. That's right. As long as we got the Vader um, little promo clip there, right? they going to it. That's right. So what, what's been working against y'all is going to work for you now. That's right. Yeah, that. You know, I understand that concept. That's what I always said about artists that ain't from certain places. You know what I'm saying? Niggas want to hear the new story. They love it. Like my little nigga from Hemet. I got my nigga Spang Nitty James. When niggas find out all the bullshit that's going on in Hemet, niggas would never imagine that. Nigga, that's top crime down there in California. Out there. Yeah, San Bernardino County. That's just yeah, that's I.E. That's, I. that's what Riverside what County. Yeah. It's fucked up out there, yeah. But I'm going to tell you what's crazy, though, Mitchie. Y'all cheater thing. How I know y'all can do some numbers. Hmm. How I know y'all can do numbers is everybody watches the Mexican cartel shit like it's crack. Like a motherfucker. And guess we got that. We're directly right from. connected. You right. at the border. Everything right. starts That's right a there. fact, Mitchie. Right. Mm -hmm. You feel me? Oh, yeah. so, so, you know, when you throw a little bit of that in your teaser, they come. The niggas ain't that. never seen that on nothing. They ain't nobody ain't never seen, seen the connection that Southeast niggas had directly to them tunnels and shit like that. To the tunnels, yeah. Mitchie. Yeah. To the motherfuckers. The, and we and listen, y'all. That's so regular to us. We never thought nothing of that. We never San Diego nigga never think. Damn, we the first niggas down there in the country to get the pack. You no, are the best. But yeah. it's regular to us. That's every day to us. We always had a message. We could go pull up on it. Get with real quick. Bro, y'all the first. Let me correct you. Bro, the born in states, California, Arizona, mm -hmm. uh, Texas, New Mexico, oh, yeah. Texas, right? Y'all the first niggas in Cali. How they say, yo, gangster music, Compton, or whatever it is, crack, the actual form of crack, the bay. Bro, the first place that shit come to is Dago. Yeah. The first stop is Dago. So what I'm telling you is, y'all already got a hit story that nobody know about, but you got the bait or the teaser that's proof. Yeah, yeah. Bro, I'm telling you, this is the new shit. Because the music, they finna fire 2,000 execs. 
Mm -hmm. Urban streams is down 48%. You are now hey, watching this is the right online. down buddy right now. The right That's down right. buddy is this. That's right, homie. I'm not going to be no fool, though. Yeah. I'm, I'm, I'm on See, you, you been around long enough yeah. to know what to... You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Yeah, man. Let's run it. Hey, 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 Wack, you ever see Just that let me know, look, listen, I'm going to tell you, regulate your own camera crew, find yeah. out what the budget is, and then yeah. we go get it, and then you just deliver the content. There it go. I bet, I bet y'all see my, my, this movie out, this motherfucker series out. <laughs> Hey, hey, yo, hey, Mitchie, I want to give you your flowers, man, because I only know Mitchie in San Diego. That's all and everything, man. And so shout out to Mitchie Slick, man. I grew up off the Trigger Asian Nation, all that shit, man. I, you already know. So I, I, that's the shit that I was bumping. So shout out to you, man. Mitchie Slick. I you know, and I, you already know. know. I'm going to do some bitch ass nigga shit, but like, I ain't going to tell y'all which was. But three of the top you underground hits Mitchie wrote. wrote. Yeah, I did the first 16 bars. I wrote that shit. I wrote that shit. <laughs> Right. Hey, all I did, all I did was just talk the story, homie. I ain't even had to think about that shit, homie. I told, I told, I told what I was going through, homie, on that first one. The niggas started listening after that. It just never went crazy because, like I said, y'all, we never had the business behind it. I never had, I never had no. All the homies don't really give a fuck about no rap shit. I mean, they do a little bit now. But all them years when I was putting that work in, homie, the homies didn't really understand that it's something that they could be doing other than rapping. I mean, I really thought all I had to do was put my reputation on the front line, ride around town in this motherfucking Austin Martin or whatever I was in at the time, and then some label was going to come snatch me up because I was such a, you know, it, but it don't really go like that. And I figured that out later, but a, a lot later, even just too recently, that you got to have a team and it's proper channel. Now watch it come out so you want. I never had no nigga. I didn't have no nigga over there politicking with whack while me and Game was over here doing the song. You feel me? I had no That's nigga over there chopping it up with baby for me while I, me and Lil Wayne and, real. and Menace was, was real. doing this record or something like that. And that's always got to be going on in the process of that. Just because you can rap good, that really don't mean that other shit got to go on. You feel me? I never had that. All the homies was doing the shit we do in the streets that was around me. Either that, you know, niggas kicking those and pimping holes and shit you feel me but far as actually understanding that it's a business with this music shit and we can make some money doing this shit it didn't happen some homies came in in the beginning and put a little bread up on my first album i put up my own bread as well but after that shit didn't come back like dope money they was out <laughs> you feel you me it was a rap, so ever so since shit 20 years ago it ain't it's just been me but that's, that's what i'm saying when i say that y'all in dago we don't understand the business we trying to understand the business all we got to do is open up a book, really, and read and see how shit go. But if you don't know, then find out. Don't just put your head down or turn your nose up to it or be like, you know, fuck this shit or nah, just open a book up and read out whatever I'm saying. If I tell a nigga something, homie, go look my shit up. Do your homework. Do your due diligence and figure it out. But San Diego niggas, if they don't know it, they'll turn their nose up to it and just go to what they understand. We understand money. We understand popularity and publicity and all that shit so that's kind of where the san diego niggas go i ain't speaking on nobody on this phone i'm just saying historically in rap in san diego we don't really know the industry none of the big homies used to work with dr dre back in the day none of the homies know uh uh cypress and mugs from back in the day we, we didn't have that you know what i'm saying you so now we just been basically having to learn this shit on our own but ain't nobody really doing the due diligence du diligence it takes to really understand how that shit works so that's the only thing with that y'all yo know, Sticks, I, look at the text i just sent you all right let me do you. tell me if that makes sense to you uh-huh you can do it. you know what i'm saying that's the title yeah that's you but it's universal so it ain't putting you in the box but right. you can tell all of that in that and still represent you yeah, that. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, we're going we to go. I'm going to be on your line, homie. Nah, I, don't, let I, don't me know, need, I, don't, I don't need much. I just need to eat a little. Nah, I, let me know, bro. I, already, I got the product. I got the, nigga, I already got the platform. It's easy. It ain't even nothing. Boom, 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 bam. And we ain't talking about, nigga, once that shit shot, edit that shit down, do the bar, put it up. Go immediately. You Get the dashboard and see it coming in. Get it. You gotta remember it. Netflix and all this shit. Let's keep it real. 
How many of us right now today go to Netflix, go do everything? Day we've seen it ten times. Right. This is why yeah, the subscription real. based shit is winning because niggas is starving to watch the shit they ain't seen. And we watching this shit work. We said all these little shits work, and a lot of shit we laugh about it, but it's shot good. Like I mm-hmm. mean, you know, it's shot good, so we laugh about it, but it is what it is, right? Mm-hmm. Uh, this I know that shit down there. You are the only thing I'm gonna have to call you mark. about is, hey, bro, uh, the homie took a deal on this one, right? Yeah, wow, you took a deal, so the paper, okay, cool. Because mm-hmm. there's a lot of shit that happened down there. Whole mm-hmm. lot of shit. Mm-hmm. You know, but other than that, what I just sent you represents you, but it's universal, so it don't put you in that box, but then you can tell everything about down there in that. Hey, you know what's the biggest dagger story, though, homie? Which one? The biggest can't really tell, because they ain't never had the experience from this. Di- Man, if niggas knew how it was in in the in the late eighties in the crack era in San Diego, with the with the LA niggas being in San Diego, yeah, hey, ain't seen that. Man, that was they my pops and that. that was my pops and them down there too. That's crazy. Niggas, so, niggas, that. niggas can't tell it. y'all don't understand what it's like when you a small city and the LA niggas come. Then that's one thing because the L, uh, small niggas know like okay, here come the big LA niggas. But when you when you a big city. And the LA niggas come, it's a whole different type of situation. Mm -hmm. You around niggas that never seen no niggas come through their city and act like they didn't know what type of niggas. No, that's some real shit, bro. I was born in Dago, man. For real. Listen, homie, I remember I remember sitting in my jacks and my projects as a little kid, like eight years old. And I'm talking about I ain't never known nothing but it to be the most terrifying gangster niggas I ever seen in my life walking around my neighborhood. So I'm here sitting, we playing the 19 years old, and here come running through our jacks like six niggas with CC riders and old English shit running on the back of their dicky jackets and shirt running through our, walking through our jacks going to some bitch house. Like they ain't never heard of a San Diego blood or nothing. Like, do you understand what that's like for some niggas from the gangs you only heard of? Well, we didn't hear of them at the time, but I'm talking about this caliber of niggas to come to a fully popping other hood from another city that's already and they don't even they really don't know, know it. these niggas is there. Watching <laughs> that's crazy. Like, I, like my first getting it bracking against niggas wasn't against San Diego niggas. We banged Yo. against the same most terrifying LA niggas that LA niggas banged against. So Yo. I don't be trying to put Dago against LA. I just be like, no, we was right there doing the same shit. That's a fact. Yo, uh, Gangsta Earn daughter just texted me and said tell mitch thank you for paying homage our dad did what he had to do for our family and even help with other black families struggling we all miss him dearly because he was the robin hood in the hood but now we move on thank you guys for recognizing who he was hey that's, from his that's real that's, that's real it. talk that's it Hey man, salute to the G homie, Gangsta Earn. Shout right? out to Gangsta Earn, 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 man. Hey yo, Mitch, much love from the East Coast, bro. I'm out of Jersey, and I know you had a homie on Won't Stop Being a Blood that was out of Queens. Come salute, on, man, blood. that's my nigga, homie. You know, I know. The homie, the homie I know what's up. The homie tried to murder homie. He got life, bro. He yep, he down homie. right now. I know. Shout Free blood. Homie, east side is him, homie. The homie east side is him, homie. Yes, up. sir. Es to the west, bro. Right up, homie. Salute. But I got a hell of you know. I done walked all. Around one eight, what is that? One eighty fifth, one eight, all that shit over there, and BX and all that shit. Them niggas took me over there. Oh, I know, bro. That, that, that that's what we supposed to do. We supposed the Don Moon supposed right to up. roll out the red carpet for another Don Moon, no matter where we at. Hey man, listen, homie. And, and when I go to the East, New York is rolled out. Hey, check it out. I don't went to. Hey, what is the jacks over there, homie? It's some jacks in the Bronx, homie. And it's about three, four big ass buildings, and one is Brims, and one is Millers. And the other one is, I think, might be something else, homie. All in one project. It's a you are now 10, watching Ten thousand moves in one project, homie. One is building this Millers, one building this Bronx, and the other one is like Sex Money or something. I don't know, homie. Yeah, Sex Money Murder. That's what I am, bro. Yeah, yeah. Salute, homie. The homie yes, sir. To to y'all shit, homie. Shout out to the homie K Dog uh, from from Hunters, East Coast Hunters.
Yeah, them 80s was crazy, man. My pops used to tell me stories about that shit, man. When he was selling dope in the 80s in Dago. It was wild. Where he, where, where pops was from? Long Beach? My, my pops from L.A., yep. He was moved from Long Beach to L.A. His name, L.A. Goldie, and then my uncle named Money Tank, our big oh, okay. team. You know, a lot of OGs know him. They 69, 70 years old now. Salute. Yeah, it's yeah, trip because coming up, homie, a lot of the big names that we knew in the town for being big time money getters they wasn't just all dago niggas you, you know what i mean watching real talk house. it was la real niggas that was factors yeah. in dago i mean it wasn't no, like for real. a long time but it was a good two-year period when that shit start, first kicked off where nigga it was like nigga you'd be walking from you know from from the turf to the youth and trolley station it might be 15 pairs of dayton's passed by shit five or six of them was was la niggas and you would know who they was because it would be on it would be on them niggas would be you hear shit, uh, you know, it, 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 it was a crazy time, but that's the story, because niggas can't really, niggas that ain't from LA can't tell a story of banging with, not against, but with. The same as you would bang against the San Diego Crip, you run into an LA Crip at the, at the fam. No, Mars you ain't like lying. That. You, you know what I mean? The truth. I'm 35, bro, you know, so I was born down there, you man. Not my, you know, I grew up on the skylines and all Straight that up. shit, bro. Yeah. Yeah, that. Yeah. Yeah, yeah man. you're not lying about that. You know, my pops ran with Richie Rich and Freeway Rick and them back in them days, man. Yeah, Rick was down here fucking with the homies. Like we we knew about Rick way before a goddamn record or a story. Like before any anything ever hit public, that Rick was popping in the streets. You feel me? Mm-hmm. Yes, sir. Yeah, man, you're gonna be super successful off that, Mitchy. I already see it, gang. Oh That's man, real, I, I'm I'm it's for the whole town. Right, right. This is Luan from Alabama. As a matter of fact, one of my little partners just did a show with no jump of BWA Kane and shit. And I think, oh, okay. Like, yeah, you know, you know the little homie. Nah, uh, what, what's the name? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Nah, that's the homie. Kane. Yeah, okay. That's the homie, yeah. bro. Yes. <laughs> I've been telling these niggas, gays. No, that's the homie, homie. We supposed to do a uh, record. Matter of fact, he sent me a record to hop on, and I just didn't get on it. No, that's the homie. You are now watching the Hey, hey, we we, we finna finna build this shit up, man. Sky ain't the limit, nigga. You know? Hey. Yeah. Do Kane Kane got a clubhouse uh, uh, name? I mean, is he on clubhouse? You know what? I ain't. I ain't ever asked him. I could. I could hit him. You know, and see if if he. I'm gonna hit him right now. Hold on. I I hit him right now. Yeah. All right. Say no more, shit. Hey, bitch, he's always telling that guy that's some, my security right there, nigga. <laughs> no, that's some real. Somebody yeah. need to tell that San Diego story though, man, because my pops used to tell me stories, man. Man, hey, them niggas was terrorizing Dago. They got ran out of Dago by the LAPD, FBI, and all that shit. Told them niggas do not come back to Dago. Just stay in LA. <laughs> hey, that's real, people. No, it, 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 it's, it's, it's a lot of stories. I mean, real it, 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 talk. Tell Can't even them. tell them all. That's some real Can't shit. Tell all the story. But uh, you know who else was down there getting to it, homie, and was running into it with the homies and shit. And I learned later on. Salute to the uh, to the homie uh, Big C Styles from Long Beach. Yeah, that's my boy. Come on, Big C yeah, C Styles yeah. was down there. He he he. That's my he, big he know brother. That. That's my boy. I'm baby crazy old from 30s. I'm from my salute, home. homie. Salute, man, salute homie. beloved. Salute, man, for real. Oh, all yeah. my little nephews from out there. I got nephews from Five Nine Brown, Skyline, Lincoln Park, all that shit. My whole family's still down there in Dago. I oh, okay. Like, I go like twice a month. Oh, okay. You from 30s, huh? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yeah, yeah, I, uh, we shot a movie over there, homie, with a lot of your homies yeah, over yeah, there. Yeah, yeah, you did, yeah, yeah, yes, sir. Salute, them niggas treated me, For homie, real. like. I, I saw that niggas, movie, too. Hey, niggas, niggas, niggas treated me, homie, like royalty around that motherfucker. Let me eat it all, y'all little burger joints yes, and all sir. that shit, you know? Yes, sir, yes, sir. Much love to the 30s, yeah, straight much up. Love. The homie Salute. Grindon, grandmama grew up over there in the 30s and shit, so we used to be over there every now and then sliding through. We shot that video over there in y'all turf, too, uh, Can't Let It Go. Yes, sir, yes, sir. Mm-hmm. Yes, sir. All the homies is out. Some of y'all homies even in the video. Yes, sir. Man, keep doing your shit, yeah, beloved. Man, you got a story Much to love, tell, homie. man. For real. Much love, homie. Yes, sir. Salute, soldier. Appreciate it. Well, shit, man. You know, nigga got to get up and get the whooping, man. To, to, to the homie, salute. Like I said, homie. To the whole uh, gangster earn family. Just know, I know why. Baby Ern is so adamant about that story because his daddy was very important to the city and shit like that. 
but you know shit somewhere we gonna figure out a way to get the homie story out because you can't really tell a dago story especially not no gangster rap story you without mentioning the homie unlocked. i'm finna do my thing i'm gonna get out of here y'all and uh go to go to the site trip where i live.com i make clothes hey, for gangsters man. Man. straight up what up homie hey before you get up out of here what you got going with the homie spank like you trying to you managing him or what uh i ain't put us all the way out there but we 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 Spank got a major situation, homie. That we we, we manifest for them. Yeah, he got a big ass movement. He got a ma- he got a major. We just ain't blowing him all the way out, but you know, put him all the way out there and shit. But it's finna happen. The homie dropped a couple singles and a couple records with Hit Boy and shit. His last video, well, not his last video, but the one he did with Hit Boy was was official. But nah, he he's finna come, homie. And he got he got that push that I was I was looking for my whole career about to be behind him. Uh, if y'all don't know. I'm putting it out there to me, Spank probably like, you know, probably like the hardest young MC coming up out of Southern Cali right now. And I ain't just saying it because it's my you nigga. Now watching Go listen to the watch. nigga. The nigga's a lyrical. Nah, He's like a new real. style you artist. Know. He a new style artist, but still with the mentality of a old school MC. So he's using all the all the techniques that a that a MC uses when he's putting his his verbiage together, you feel me? So salute to my nigga. I fuck with all the real MCs. You can be popping and hot and all that shit, but that that's cool. But 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 I'm on the niggas that really know how to rap and shit like that. And, and Spank Spank Nitty James is his name, y'all. He up out of him in California. He just did a video not too long ago with Hit Boy. If y'all want to go check it out, Spank Nitty and Hit Boy. But the nigga's a lyrical new age artist to where I think he like a hybrid artist in that. They, they, they say about you know they don't really like these new artists and shit and that's why the labels ain't putting the money into them you are not i don't got no no no, no feelings about the new style of artists but most definitely this nigga ain't left out the the, the lyrical capability homie of, of a new artist so that's why i fuck with it go check my nigga out man you said what's his name spank what spank nitty spank nitty, spank James. nitty? nitty? yeah nitty with an eye Oh. And my nigga Eddie Mac. Hey, I'm going to post it in the chat, pig. Oh, That's yeah, good yeah, looking. And my sure. nigga Eddie Mac. I'm gonna Eddie Mac was on here earlier. That's another young artist I'm fucking with. He up out of Dago. Spank Nitty up out of Hemet. I kind of had to go outside the city to get a young homie to really trust my vision. So we was able to make some, you know, ink something to make something happen. And, um, hey, Missy, what's his name again? Was it Spank Nitty? Spank Nitty James. Okay, okay. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to look him up right now. And then the young homie Eddie Mac too. These is niggas that they, like, you said they're from Hemet. Niggas. One homie is from Hemet, and then one homie is Gangsta Earns young you homie. Now watching Clubhouse. Uh, uh, watching. Young homie. That's that's Spank. That's um that's um the homie Eddie Mac. He was on here. It was a few real brims on on this line today, y'all. You know the homie Damu was on there. You know what I'm saying me and Damu put we we stay working and we like Batman and Robin out here. But yeah, Spank Nitty James, and then the other homie is Eddie Mac. If you like. You want to hear a young nigga spit gangster shit like a G nigga? That's what you're going to go listen to Eddie Mac for. No, that's right. We respect that. Like I said, and we was the crazy part about it today, Mitchie, we was never even, it was nothing about the city or nothing that had nothing to do with none of that. It was just this individual. So like I said, man, much respect to you and everything like and, and that's why that's why it got so crazy because we you know, it had nothing to do with nothing like nobody yeah, was yeah, dissing yeah. the city and nobody was dissing the motherfucking or even the set no one was dissing the set we was talking to man to man shit you know what i mean yeah 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 yeah, yeah. yeah so but now we, we uh yeah, now i'm gonna we look up them individuals that especially that dude from him because i'm out this way so i'm definitely gonna check him out spank nitty for spank sure. nitty james there's yeah, a much. lot of soldiers in Dago, man. People will sleep, bro. Dago is, you know what I'm saying? It ain't what y'all really think it is, man. It's deeper than that. Some real shit, some real solid niggas in Dago, man. That's San Diego Bay, man. You know and so when saying? they look at the, uh, demog- the, 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 what they call it, the crime numbers and all that yeah. shit, I don't be trying to glorify, because niggas hear me sometimes saying shit on about Dago. We, I don't be trying to glorify the, 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 the fucked up negative shit. I just be wanting it to be a good understanding of what my city is about. Cause look, look how the fuck I look. If I'm talking to shit, I be talking. And then you got some cornball ass motherfucker like that. that what's that you one shit? That he, he got that one. One of the, I don't even want to say the wrong name of his little, his little uh, 
videos he be putting up but he be talking about some california gangs and this that and the other and he be trying to make a mockery of, of san diego and then he uses statistics and numbers to do whatever he comes up with oh san diego's the safest city in america san diego crime is this that, and hey, that that's cap like a motherfucker that's mix. because they're going by the numbers of the whole city we talking about south man san come diego. on that's what all the niggas exactly be like if all of yes. la was only south central it was only south central that was gangster and then the rest of la was suburban type shit so of course the numbers would be like oh la is the safest shit in the, you know what i'm saying but if you come to where i'm from southeast san diego where i'm from shit, that's a know? fact you go to that hood to them trenches yeah, and, bro and that's, that's what they say about uh, san guy. bernardino too oh mitchy the same shit about that the i san bernardino they try to oh that ain't shit that shit what's that that's out you there desert that's all out here that ain't shit Man, you know San Bernardino County is the most dangerous. This shit is in dangerous. California, homie. In California, in California people. California, yeah, homie. yeah. So, I, yeah, you know. But like, we just laughed hey, at be because we Modestos, really know the Modestos and the Stocktons and the and the motherfucking uh and the San Bernardinos, the Riverside. You know, them is, they not the major cities, but shit, shit. Where you think all the niggas from the major cities move to when they done fucked up? Yeah. <laughs> Hell yeah. Hey, that's a fact, big bro. Yeah. <laughs> For real. Hell yeah. 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 Well, shit, that's you, you still in Dago? I'm gonna tap in with you, man. I'm brother Gregory X from the Nation. I'm F O Y, but you know I'm baby crazy yo from 30s, and I'm always in Dago, bro. You know I got baby a little nephew that, that's that's Dom bro. I never For real. Get you, homie, baby crazy mm. yo. Let me just tap in with me. I'll be up there too, mm. homie. You know what I'm saying? It's nothing. Matter of fact, I'm finna do uh, what you call it today, y'all. Uh, uh, Gangster Chronicles. I'm gonna go do the Gangster Chronicles right. today and shit. Oh, yeah. I got the Gangster Chronicles interview coming out with MCA and the homie Steel. Oh yeah, yeah. I've been seeing those Chronicles, the Gangster oh, Chronicles. Check that yep. out right there. You already know. What, 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 what you what you dropping it on, Big One Bro? Last thing I'm gonna say. Um, I don't know where it's gonna be. Um, they got it on YouTube. That's a, that's a YouTube. podcast. That's a podcast on, that's a podcast on YouTube. Podcast. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, okay. Now my okay. new album finna come out. Selected Politics is finna come out next month though. Oh, we got to do a listening party for that. We definitely got to do that. Straight up. Told me they was going to have me in the Beehive. Yeah, that's for sure. Yeah. yeah, that's for sure. We definitely got to do that. The Beehive definitely dope. Hell yeah. And the next project I'm doing, I'm working on, we recording right now. I'm recording with Mikey Keys and shit. You know, I was fucking with Mikey Keys before they started fucking with Nip and shit. They was with me. I basically was like, go, go do that shit because it was most you definitely are now was watching a book. Clubhouse It wasn't in vain, homie. Rest in peace, Nip and shit. But like the niggas that was musically directing all his shit is the young homies Mike and Keys. And we, we done came back full circle and we doing a project right now. Shit sound crazy in the motherfucker. Yeah, that's, that's right. But yeah, yeah no, nah, I was just doing say, your shit. You man. shit. Hell yeah, and anytime I do this you want to come fun, up, homie. man, shit, come, you, you know I know it, shit, yeah, hell yeah, yeah, yeah. anytime yeah, I, I, you want to come up, man, come bless us. Oh, I'm coming, homie, don't trip, I appreciate the invite, homie, I'll be there, i fuck with y'all, I don't really be saying shit, i just be listening just to stay in tune, you know, it'd be a lot of homies on here, so I'll be tapping in. For sure, yeah, why, why I got my info, man, that's my aunt, so, you know, okay. I'm, I'm, I'm Pitbull on here, but, you know, I'm Crazy O, but, you know, Pitbull, our brother Gregory X, however you want to call it. Baby Crazy yeah. O. Yeah, we're going <laughs> to tap in, big bro, for sure, for yeah. sure, King. Okay, much love, y'all, salute to all y'all, man, salute to, to Dago and L.A., for coming all the homies. Whoa, whoa. All yeah, the you already know, know. Straight Straight up. Up. appreciate oh. it, man, appreciate hey, you Hey, Blast, in by. a minute, Blast, whoa, whoa, homie. Yeah, I'm here, I'm you. All right, G. Much love, y'all. We here at Clubhouse Unlocked appreciate all our loyal subscribers, but we can always use more. From now on until we hit 5K subs, five new subscribers win a cash prize from us. Each winner will be picked at random. All you have to do is subscribe to our channel. Thank you all for watching Clubhouse Unlocked. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Now let's get into the content.